Um, today we talk about a man who can't get hard. Yeah. Probably one of the funnier tunes that I made so far. And it pretty much talks about a pharaoh, uh, an emperor, uh, a tyrant who rules up his kingdom with the iron fist. I, I believe all of us have their their pharaoh, their <laughs> their emperor, who who can become very very annoying, and um, mostly those kind of people have problems on their own, obviously, and they overcome it, being rude and being being evil with the other people. This tune basically pretty much talks about people like that. So why obelisks against the emperor? Basically, it's uh, basically that is a joke. No matter who you are, no matter how you rule up your little world, the people who live nearby will always overcome your injustice and and your frustration, reminding you in a subtle way that you're nobody, that they they don't need you to be free, they don't need you to be alive. And basically, this is a combat song. This is a rebellion song. This is a satirical song. That's the only reason why I wrote this song, to smile against my emperors. But let's talk about the music right now. You might have noticed that this is a song that I didn't sing. And uh, the reason why I didn't want to sing this particular tune is that I wanted to give an impression and um, an interpretation uh, to the emperor that was singing actually some lines and um, and I wanted a singer to be to be able to stick with that to stick with the plan to be able to interpret the the emperor to be able to to go for a specific accent and also to be able to uh, manage and control the vibratos that um, are very characteristic for this particular kind of a sound. Immediately jumped in my mind, I had the singer, I do have the guy, that's gonna be perfect, and I just straight away contacted him. Fortunately, that is also a really good friend of mine, which is Sandro. The hard thing is to give different personality uh, to characters, uh, because we need to find a way to uh, guide the listener through the story and through the song. The music follows the story, and the story is really funny. Uh, I find some references, uh, like Sergei Tank, you know, that I know before, and other stuff I can find everywhere on the internet, on YouTube. And maybe we've used something similar in our old band, in Spiral. Uh, basically, it was really funny for me, because uh, it was sort of like a theatrical way to sing, and in many different ways. Uh, the difficult thing was uh, to find the one, two, three, four, the tempo and the timing. Yeah, yeah, I hate you. When I asked Sandro to, to join this project, he was very excited as, as he appeared also um, very happy with, the, uh, with his, the, the role that I proposed him. And he worked a little bit on, on the uh, interpretation. He has a, a theatrical background, so he knows how to interpret some new characters. And um, he is perfectly able to control his voice in that particular way and to come out with very nice vibrato, which is also uh, very peculiar from his voice. And also um, someone who could not be perfect in English and uh, that would be perfect also for the imperfection that I wanted to, to achieve for the actual Emperor character. It turns out to be extremely suitable for him. It's a perfect song for him, I believe, and, and I'm very happy with the result.
as you might get, this is a pretty um, Arabic song, Egyptian kind of a song. And it talks pretty much about one of those environments which are basically those cities, ancient cities surrounded by sand and in the middle of the desert. And that's specifically why I've chosen to, um, to use specific sounds. Everything in this tune is pretty dry and it's, uh, it's lacking reverb, it's lacking ambience, it's, it's very, very in your face, like pretty much uh, the sounds you would, you would get in a situation like that, in, a, in, a, in an environment like that. Very dry, very dusty, very sandy, kind of kind of abrasive. And uh, um, for that reason I've chosen to use a very uh, sandy and rusty guitar sound that is not alone. Almost all the time the guitar it's uh, helped. It's in conjunction with uh, some synths that I've used to keep it drier and to keep it more uh, abrasive, as I said. And that creates a very, very interesting pattern. It creates a de very distinctive sound. Uh, the bass guitar is underneath, it's doing pretty much the same thing. And um, if you don't consider the, the refrain, this tune is basically um, built upon the number five. And I, I've chosen to use the number five. One day I was just riffing about and some pattern of notes just came out from nowhere. And uh, that was like the pattern that I've used to build all the song. And um, in that interaction that I was like creating and I was interested by the, the flavor of that sound, it almost like uh, behaved like a brick, like a limestone brick that I've used to build up the entire city, the entire song in this case. And it's like a construction site where everything is built upon that. Talking about sounds, we've got some Mellotron, we've got some uh, rock leaks at some point. And um, the more I got further with that, the more I, I, I discovered that I was laughing all the time, especially because I wanted to use some very funny and distinctive sounds like the tenor sample or some saz, uh, very, very traditional instruments to use upon this tune and blend it with a quite a rockish uh, crossover, I would say, uh, sound um, that is surrounding everything and it's, it's acting like a, like a canvas where to design and paint everything else. I believe in the end that was a success. No one. 